Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a complete disaster. Clean with me, I had guests over at my house for the past two weeks and I completely neglected my house and focused on hosting guests. So I hope you guys enjoy this disaster clean with me and get all of the cleaning motivation from today's video. Hi you guys, like I said, complete disaster clean with me today and of course as always we're starting out with the dishes. I still have a broken dishwasher, I think at this point we're just going to replace it. The dishwasher still runs but something that I've been struggling with is that the like pump doesn't seem to be working now. I'm so frustrated. It's like a less than three-year-old dishwasher and it is just a piece of junk. Anyway, I have in the background here, you can see I'm diffusing my essential oils like I usually do and this time I did a really yummy mix of like thieves and orange essential oils and it was so good. It's very similar in scent to like the purification from Young Living. I do use the Now Essential Oils instead of Young Living. They just tend to be a bit cheaper and the quality is awesome. I love Now Essential Oils. Anyways, all right, so I am just cleaning up my kitchen and getting going with the rest of my cleaning routine. I also water my plants in today's video a little bit and just really deep clean the kitchen and things I've been neglecting over the past two weeks. Also in today's video I am doing some decluttering and undecorating because I'm getting ready for my fall decor. Usually around this time of year I start to pull out my spring and summer decor which usually just consists of more greens and plants. I start to kind of pull those and I'm going to completely redecorate this back shelf for fall and winter. I'm doing more of a farmhouse theme and I'm super excited. I did take to Instagram to ask you guys about the rug in my dining room. I don't feel that it's going to go super well with my fall and winter decor, 
It goes really well with my spring and summer decor, but it might just be something I need to swap out for a few months and keep this one downstairs in storage. I will have all of my rug options linked down below for you guys and I'm excited to share with you what this room is going to look like. If you haven't seen any of my fall decor videos yet or my fall series videos for 2020 yet, I will have those linked down below for you as well. I have a fall plan with me and I also have a Hobby Lobby shop and haul as well. I love Hobby Lobby for fall decor. I just think that it has everything that I need for the most part in one stop. I will have a couple more hauls from Home Goods and Target, possibly TJ Maxx, depending on the items that I need. But I'm so excited for all things fall. If you are too, leave this video a big thumbs up as we get ready for the fall decor season. Leave a comment down below. Are you a summer gal, a fall gal, or do you like both? I love both, and just for YouTube purposes, I do decorate at the end of August so that I have the video up for you guys by September 1st and you can have plenty of time to plan and get yourselves ready. So again, if you have not checked out my fall series yet for 2020, the start of it, I will have those linked down below for you because I am so excited for all things fall. Also today I am focusing on the kids' toys. I'm trying to declutter them. I get so many comments about how many toys the kids have and aunties and uncles and grandmas and grandpas, these kids are so thoroughly loved. They get so many gifts and toys from their relatives and from Mike and I. So hard to believe, but I just went through their toys back in June and I got an entire garbage bag's worth of toys for donation again here today. It feels really good. It's just a bunch of toys they don't play with and it can go to another child who is in need of, in need of them. But anyways, I feel really good to finally get through some of these toys. I plan to narrow it down even more after I get my organizational system put in. We're having some like bins and cupboards put in, like cubbies put in on either side of the media wall so hopefully that will help us kind of sort through the toys so that I can sort them into like dollies and Riker toys and animals and stuffed animals just like so they can find their toys. I feel like everything is just in a jumbled pile right now so I will be doing one more like donation <laughs> once over once we um, get those organizational systems in.
Don't you stop, cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Let's chat about all things laundry. I am so sick of doing laundry. I feel like it's just constant. And we had a little bit of a mishap in the laundry room. We were hosting a get together uh, about a week ago and I heard a big like fall upstairs and realized that one of the shelves in the laundry room had pulled out from the wall even though it was rated up to like a hundred and some pounds. I was keeping a lot of my extra cleaners in there so my laundry room just feels like a chaotic mess right now um, I don't have my sock bin anymore because that broke when the shelf broke so I just I need to reorganize the laundry room again but all in due time I just wanted to let you guys know that I know that the laundry room looks like chaos because of well, a the unfolded laundry but also because I just have a bunch of cleaners and things laying around on that countertop but like I said, hopefully in the next couple of days to the next week, I finally get that done so that it feels a little bit more organized. You don't forget your first love. We were young and wild. We were up all night. Summer sun, 2009, we were feeling high And I got drunk for the first time I thought I was cool I thought I looked smooth in your eyes And tried to make a move
All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I have no idea why I'm still wearing my sunglasses at 10 p.m. in the house. I like threw them on when I went to go pick up Kaya from daycare and just never took them off. But anyways, if you guys liked today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I hope I gave you all of the cleaning motivation that you needed for this Sunday morning. If you have any video suggestions over the next few weeks, please leave it in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time for another really fun video, which should be tomorrow for a day in the life. Okay, bye you guys.